I know what you mean, bro. <laughs> exactly. I saw a couple of people dancing back there, right? <laughs> I see you, Cameron, over there, brother. <laughs> hey, uh, greetings. Good morning, everybody. Kenny J with Gobi Trade House. Uh, I want to welcome everybody to Coffee in the Morning with Gobi. Uh, we do this call every Monday through Friday at 10 a.m., giving you motivation, inspiration, and strategy. All right. Uh, everybody should be fired up this morning. I'm super excited this morning to be on. Uh, shout out to our, our Gobi Foundation, our Gobi fam. I see all you guys out here tuning in this morning. All right. So, guys, we're coming off. Uh, another undefeated night with the run up the bag challenge. All right. So this is something to be very excited about. All right. We are now 10 out of 10 in the month of April, 10 out of 10 in the month of April on the run up the bag challenge headed towards Miami. All right. If you made money last night, you hit TP last night. Let's get some dollar signs in the chat right now. Joe said feeling like Mayweather, right? Definitely feeling like Mayweather. If you hit TP last night, made some money last night, on the run up the bag challenge, let's get some dollar signs in the chat. All right, guys, this is a very exciting. This is very exciting. Um, <clears throat> a lot of a lot of everybody should have been uh, paying attention recently. Uh, we've been updating the statistics um, after every win, after every loss. Gobi Trade House is going to be super transparent about our uh, run up the bag challenge, so everybody can continue to participate. All right, as we move on with this challenge month after month. So our numbers in totality right now, uh, today's a special day because we, ju we just now uh, finished our 100th trade, okay? We've done 100 run up the bag challenge trades, all right, collecting 10 pips a piece. Uh, we've officially won 86 out of 100 trades since the beginning of the month. That is crazy. I've been in a lot of different programs in the past, all right, and when it comes to live sessions, I've personally never seen uh, live sessions with that much accuracy, especially over a matter of a few months. So we've collected a total of 860 pips out of a possible 1,000 pips, all right? So I'm gonna actually go over uh, a little bit of what we need to do now that this data is released, okay? And we're actually seeing uh, how we could actually benefit from the run of the back challenge in a major way especially this month, because there's something special going on uh, with Gobi Trade House this month in the trade community and also with our Sniper Analyzer team, all right? So I want to make sure everybody takes advantage of what's happening, including myself, all right? So we're going to go over that here in a moment. But before we dive into everything on our call, uh, do we have any new members in, on the call right now? If you're just now getting started in Gobi Trade House, or if this is your first time on a coffee in the morning with Gobi, Let's go ahead and get a 111 in the chat. Go to drop a 111 in the chat if you're just now getting started or if this is your first time on a coffee in the morning with Gobi. All right. Any, anybody? Okay, we got Eddie in the house. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Any, anybody else? Do we have anybody out there? All right. Drop a 111 in the chat. Uh, any new people just now getting started, or if this is your first time attending a coffee good morning with Gobi, one, one, one in the chat. All right, perfect, Maish. All right, perfect. All right, so um, let's go ahead, everybody. Gobi Trade House, you know how we do. Let's roll out the red carpet for our family. Uh, go ahead and feel free to unmute yourself, scream welcome, type welcome in the chat, drop welcome. some dots. Welcome, welcome to the family. Congratulations for taking welcome. the first step welcome towards to the your financial yeah. freedom. Welcome, 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 yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Freedom. Let's go. Let's welcome go. Let's to go. the club. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, welcome, welcome. Okay, we're glad to have you apart. Of our of our business, but understand you just not join a business. Okay, you join a brotherhood and a sisterhood. We are a financial fraternity and sorority that practices group economics by way of forex education, trade signals sent out by our sniper analyzers, and also our services inside of our trade community. So, just my best advice for you as a new person: make sure you attend Coffee in the Morning with Gobi, or at least watch a replay. But it's always better live. It's only one hour hour of your time. Get some motivation, inspiration, and strategy one time a day, all right, kick your day off right, all right, network with people inside of Gobi Trade House you see uh, having success, okay? Also, uh, try to attend one live session a day, 
all right? Whether that's the London, whether that's the Asian session. So you're compounding over a period of time, all right? You're compounding your attendance. So you're getting at least seven hours of chart time a week. Hold on, let me go ahead and press mute. I hear a little noise back there. Boom, all right. Uh, you're at least getting about seven hours of chart time a week. Okay, that's 28 hours a month of chart time. All right, that's going to compound. Imagine where you'd be in three to six months in a year just by spending one hour a day earning while you learn, all right, with, with the professionals, okay? So uh, definitely uh, welcome aboard. Definitely glad to have you. All right, so again, we're going to have some very exciting topics to cover this morning. Uh, we definitely have a pretty a cold panel this morning, all right? So we're in for a really good copy with Gobi, all right? Uh, but before we dive in, uh, it's always very important to us to not only win the trade, we wanna know how we won the trade, okay? Same thing, if we lose a trade, we wanna know how we lost so we can learn from it and apply it to our game so we can learn from our mistakes and that's how you get better. But we have winning trades, okay? And uh, we actually have two of our brothers online right now who did the markups uh, on our winning trades. So I'm gonna go ahead and first pass it to our brother, uh, Joe Threats, uh, who uh, called out uh, one of our winning trades last night. So Joe, Joe, how you feeling this morning, brother? Good morning, I'm feeling well, how about y'all? Hey, little blue. I'm good. Um, I won't take the, I won't take the, uh, I, I just marked up the chart. It was, we gotta give credit to um, Sister Mary Walker for putting this, this uh, pair in the chat, basically, uh, for us to mark up. So salute to you. Um, for getting that done. And then I just marked it up. So let me share my screen with everybody. Uh, screen two. All right, perfect. So you can see my screen. Um, we're gonna go over how we how we got into this trade, okay? So this was the Audi USD. Um, on the fall time frame, we see that it was very bullish, right? So this is giving us that first confirmation that we're looking for a buy opportunity, right? And so at this level of support, if you can see this without me showing my markup just yet, um, we're looking for that buy opportunity because it hasn't broke structure here. So basically we're still looking for the buy opportunities in the market, right? Let's look at the uh, one hour time frame. And this kind of be a way that you can kind of um, look at your charts before, you know, actually um, marking up or anything like that. So we know we're still at a level of support basically. Uh, and this is what current price is at. And so with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my marks and we kind of see what, what we had going on. And so with that being said, at this level of support, we see how prices move between zones, right? Between levels of support and resistance. Um, and so when we got into this trade, I'm gonna go to the 30 minute time frame. So we got into this trade because we had a trend line set to where price is gonna either be breaking this level of, uh, this trend and go the other way, but we had strong confirmations that uh, this this support level here um, horizontally and this this uh, diagonal level of support basically right here, right. So on this one on the starting minute time frame, we got in on this precise candle exactly um, for that for that confirmation because we was at a level of support. We had one candle that closed. Um, let me put on my moving average so y'all can see these confirmations. All right, we got that one. And we got this one also. So the confirmation that we received first, um, we looked at the uh, 15 minute time frame, right? Reason being is because the, the small time frame is gonna give us that confirmation a little bit ahead of time. Uh, so what we saw was that prices were breaking out of our non moving average and it was getting ready to cross above our 50 moving average, which is our Gobi Sniper Analyze, okay? And so once that happened, this is the candle that we've seen. We wanted to make sure that that happened first. Um, and then actually we got in, like I said, on this candle here, our entry candle, um, to where once we got into that trade, let me move this out the way so you can see. Uh, we went into profit, basically. It had a little retracement, which happens, right? This is on a 15 minute time frame. So each of these candles are 15 minutes, basically. So we got into the trade, retraced back to our um, moving average a little bit. And then from there, um, within maybe what, one, two, let me go back to here. So it took maybe two hours at most for this for this trade to take profit um, because we, all we needed was 10 pips. So we was able to get those 10 pips and um, pretty much you could have rolled it out for another um, 20 pips or so to this next level of resistance, right? So if you stay tuned for the uh, lunch and today, 
Um, we're going to go over how to trail your stop losses, basically, in, into profit. Um, so this would be a situation to, if you don't know how to do that, you can make sure you secure your pips and then also collect more pips as you, uh, the trade continues to work its way up for more. So overall, um, I like to have a little song that's playing in the background. So um, real quick, if you had some, I know Ken already said it, but you made some money on this trade. Go ahead and drop some dollar signs because uh, we got money. And so that's what we're doing in Golden Trade House. We're getting money. So uh, we 10 for 10. We're going to take it one trade at a time. That's the biggest thing. Take it one trade at a time. Get 10 pips at a time and keep it going. So uh, I'm going to pass it off to Jordan next. And he'll go over the uh, the second trade that we got. But we're getting money. Hey, Joe. Absolutely. So I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass it to you, and we're definitely getting money and go be trade house. That's that's for sure. All right. That was a perfect example of a sniper entry point, and you see the sniper analyzer kind of as well. Okay. But we actually caught the candle two candles before the sniper buy entry came into place. So that's the benefit of learning how to mark up the charts right there. We barely had any drawback on that trade. All right, and it just shot up. So man, great call out. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, I'll pass it to you, Jordan. You feel free to share your screen. Jordan uh, uh, marked up the second trade, and this trade went well. So floor is yours, brother. Good work. Thank you. Thank you. And I will say this, uh, I, I, just as Joe said, I'm, I don't want to take all the whole credit because really I looked at USD Chef for a second time because Joe said to me, hey, Joe, stop, uh, Jordan, stop slacking. Look at USD Chef. You might got a winning setup right here. And I was like, oh, wow, you're right. We are ready to go. So this is. Uh, let me go ahead and break down exactly what uh, I was I was looking at. So the first thing I want to show everybody is what we what we were looking at beforehand with uh, this this particular trend line right here. This trend line indicated the bottom boundary of a ascending price channel that we've been in with this particular pair since the start of March. So this particular descending channel that was coming around here at the start of April was ready to was ready to come into contact with this particular bottom boundary for quite a while. A while. Now, uh, what we were looking at was oh, what we were looking at was this particular pair crossed down that boundary and was ready to. In fact, I do remember calling out a particular trade on USD Chef earlier that smashed. Our TP1 got very close to TP2, so I hope everyone was able to get a trailing stop loss to at least secure their profits, but this trade won out. So the next opportunity I was looking for was right around where this trade right here crossed this bottom battery yet again, tried to retest it. We saw a little bit, we saw a retest that failed, and then we saw another retest that also failed before coming back down. And then once we got over to this 10 EMA right here on the one hour time frame, where this candle was, I uh, circled it for everybody. Then we went ahead and I call out a trade, not only for our run the back challenge right here, that smashed very easily, I might add, smashed these 10 pips, but I also took it a step further and believed that it was actually going to come down to this particular bottom boundary as well. And it did take a little bit. We first had to get have a retest over to our 10 EMA, and then in about two, after that retest, in about a little under two hours, this particular TP smashed like nobody's business, and uh, this thing is still dropping down. So we still might have a golden opportunity for a sell before the end of the trading week. So I will definitely keep my eyes on this, and... Um, there is another opportunity that I'm looking at, and Joe, I'm so sorry to do this to you. I'm going to have to steal your pair, but um, uh, I'm actually looking at uh, GU, and I think we might have a sell opportunity here pretty soon. And the only thing I want to see first is price to uh, break down this particular major support and resistance area, but I do believe, especially with this double top that was just showing right here, it's uh, broken down this bottom boundary of my ascending price channel for GU. So we might have a sell opportunity for uh, GU coming up. So might be something to take a look at. Again, did not mean to steal your pair right there. Just wanted to show off what I was looking at. But uh, yeah, those are my thoughts. Thought those are our winning trades for USD Chef. And let's keep the ball rolling. All right. I, I'm not going to judge you for looking at my, at my pair. Um, She's been making a lot of moves. So 
Um, we will catch this next opportunity for uh, for GU, everybody. But that's how it's teamwork. That's what it's all about. Well, thank you, Jordan, AK, Mr. Stereo Pair. All right, we appreciate you, bro. <laughs> we appreciate you. And I actually see an opportunity coming on uh, USD Swiss Frank. If it comes back and retests that, that, that um, level of resistance, it looks like it's going to drop down to that next zone. So we definitely want to stay on the lookout. Solo that, we might get an early alert for that, okay, in the day in the solo paid members chat. So everybody just stay tuned. But uh, great chart work, Jordan. All right, we had really great team effort yesterday, and we're going to continue tonight. So everybody, make sure you you attend um, the live agent session. We just got 20 more trades to go. Now I'm going to show you guys how your account should be looking like, okay, and what you could do now to fix that. Because if we continue on this hot streak, everybody could be sitting on a really nice bag on the way to Miami. Even if you're not going to Miami, you'll still be sitting on a really nice bag that you could use for your household, your family, or whatever that you want to do or to reinvest in yourself. All right. So uh, I see our brother Carlos Pond is on this morning with a really fly background back there. So I'm going to go ahead and pass it to you. Uh, Carlos, how are you feeling this morning, brother? Man, I'm feeling great, man. Feeling great. You know, he's still blessed to be alive. You know, uh, sometimes you got to realize that it's a blessing to wake up each and every day and still have breath in your lungs. You know, how about yourself, Kenny? How are you feeling? I'm feeling amazing, brother. I'm feeling amazing. That's good. Feeling you know, so. You know, one thing that I want to go ahead and discuss about today is, uh, is, is something that came back to me uh, back when I was 21. When I was 21, I was working at this uh, this warehouse. It was uh, it was an assembly line, okay? And I was in this assembly line, and I and the, the whole day I would be doing the same thing over and over and over again. I was pushing what we call billets, right? So I basically compressing powder. I had I had <laughs> like when I say powder, I'm talking about like uh uh. uh copper and uh and metals and it, it came in a powder form and i would compress it down and i would be doing the same the same motion each and every day eventually to the point that i started getting depressed i was getting depressed because i felt like man if that was all that i had out of life i felt like i felt like I, deprived you know i felt deprived i felt like my life was being stolen out of me but there was one thing that I'll never forget. The manager, I was 21 during that time. So the manager came up to me one day. He said, Carlos, listen. He said, when you come here, yeah, you're coming to a job, but you're initially getting away from all the headaches out of life. That's what he used that platform for. And I didn't understand this as in, until I got older. Some people actually use their job to get away from the negative uh, you know, environments of the world. And that's understandable. You know, because sometimes your negative environments could be all around you. It could be family members, friends, you know, relationships. It could be it could be all around you, right? And usually you get away by going to your job or getting into a better environment, right? So I never understood that at 21, but now being older, you know, I'm 33 now. And it was always a dream of mine to have literally group economics, the way that's taking place. The way that everybody's coming together, communicating with each other for the same common goal, same common purpose, and people are winning. You have to understand that Joe, Jordan, you know, David, you know, Vincent, at one point in time, you know, we're going, they went through their motions, you know, they went through their motions, went through the, the, the slopes, and now they're on the up. You know, and the thing about it is that Gobi, Gobi Trade House is your getaway from all the negative environments of the world. I need you to understand that there's people out there that say, you can't do that. You're doing that Forex stuff. Ah, uh, that's for the birds, you know? Nah, that stuff don't work, you know? Like, that's what they're going to tell you. They're going to tell you, you think that you're going to go and make, tell me when you're rich. They're going to taunt you, okay? I call these possums, okay? I know Kenny and I were talking about this, but these are what we like to call possums. See, you may think that a possum is 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 ugly right i look at a possum and i look at a possum i'm like it's kind of cute it looks like a little a little hamster you know <laughs> right but they're vicious you know they're vicious ready to attack if you go to my facebook and you go carlos and dress pond and you will see a possum that i recorded last night and you see how it tried to attack you know you'll see it but it, it reminded me of all the negative energies that we have all around us see when you're battling through life and you got all this negative energy coming your way, that means that you're about to go through your breakthrough. That means that you're about, you're this close to your next breakthrough. But the thing about it is that you have to keep going. 
And you have to realize that Gobi is your environment to get away from the negative environments of the world. Why? Because it is very, very, very uh, hard to stay negative in this environment. You know, you're going to, you're going to, look, trust me, you're going to get into it with friends. You're going to have, you know, disputes at your job. You're going to have, you know, maybe debt collections that come in, something, you know, something that's attacking you. It's attacking you. Boom, boom, it's coming. It's coming. But the thing about it is that, you know, one thing that people never see, one thing that never, that people never see is the thickness of your skin of all the stuff that you've been through in the past that has made you a better person than the person that you are today. And see, today you are a better person and you've been through it already, whether it was the forces, whether it was, you know, uh, uh, being fired from old jobs, all that was setting you up for greatness. All that was setting you up to eventually get here to the generation of bosses empire where you will no longer be an employee, but you would start becoming boss mentality, right? So that's what's going on right now. So I want everybody on the line right now to understand that no matter what you've been through, no matter where you've been, you're here for a reason. You're here for a reason. And the reason that you're here is to benefit your family. So no matter what's going on out here in the world, no matter how many people don't believe in you, no matter how many people tell you that you can't do it, you know, you need to look at yourself in the mirror and understand that you are built for greatness. You're built, you know, to go ahead and get involved in this environment and have a voice of reason. You need your voice to be heard. You don't wanna just be a picture or attack on the wall. You wanna become some, somebody within Gobi. And you're seeing this take place. You've seen it take place with Jordan. You've seen it take place with Joe. You, you see the people that are raising their hands. Leaders raise their hand. If you're a leader, I want you to go ahead and type I in the chat box. If you're a leader, type I in the chat box right now. You know. You need your voice to be heard. The only way that Gobi will become a billion dollar company is with accumulation of us working. One thing that I want you to go ahead and do is that you need to put it on your profile that you are a Forex trader with Gobi, okay? You need to go ahead and brand yourself, realizing that branding is part of you. You know, you are destined for greatness, but the only way that you're destined for greatness is that you got to put yourself out there and you got to let people know that no matter what you say, no matter how much you don't believe in me, no matter what you say about me, you will not take me off my route. You will not take me from the destiny that is destined for me. And that's the truth. You're destined for greatness. When we say that you go be who you're destined to be, we mean it. We mean it. Kenny and I, we've been through motion. See, the thing about life is that life is just like the charts. I've said this before, but charts go up, charts go down, charts go up. It's called an emotional roller coaster. You are on an emotional roller coaster, and just because the chart is going down, it's okay. We're still making money. We're still making money on the down. And you know what's going to happen? That bad boy go, comes back up. But the trick is consistency. One thing that we're going to start doing now is that we're going to start checking everybody's numbers on how much you've been logging into your back office. This will go ahead and give you accountability. We are assigning an accountability partner to you that will let you know, hey, you just got in, you've been in for about two weeks, but you've only logged in to your website one time. That right there is gonna be your accountability to make you realize that you gotta look at yourself in the mirror, you gotta do better because you didn't invest your money for nothing. You invested your money to become something. You are investing in yourself. That's what you're doing. You're investing in your creativity. You're investing in, in the person that's growing thicker skin in this negative world. You know, you're about to go through your breakthrough. And I need you to understand this. You're about to go through your breakthrough. And this is the reason that you're here right now with Gobi Trade House. This is not no, uh, for a mere coincidence, you're supposed to be here with us. That's what's really happening. You're connected with us from the beginning of time, but this is now what's taking place. So I always give it back to the sniper analyzers. I give it back to everybody that's actually out here really putting in the work because you understood that you had already had enough, that enough was enough. Enough was enough and you had to do something about it. You had been through it. See, one, I look at Joe because Joe, you know, he's a coach. You could tell he's, he's, he's a self-development and, you know, monster because he sits there and, you know, he, you could tell that whatever he does, he puts his mind to it and he stays consistent. The same with Jordan, you know, 
It's that consistency that will allow you to have your breakthroughs. Without consistency, you won't have any breakthroughs. And you can't blame anybody else but yourself. And this is a reality because we all have to do this. We all deal with the toxic dream stealers, no matter what. You are always going to deal with it. Even when you have your breakthrough, people are still going to say you can't do it. Or, oh, uh, you got lucky. No, you didn't get lucky. You got plugged in the right environment. You got plugged in the right environment. You stopped, you got away from the possums and you started flying with eagles. See, you don't fly with, you don't run with chickens. You fly with the eagles, you know? That's the reality here. You're either going to run with chickens or you're going to fly with eagles. My question to you is, what do you want to do? Do you want to continue to run with the chickens or do you want to fly with the eagles? An eagle will fly over the storm when there's a storm. You know, or when the storm comes, I like the saying that when the storm comes, you say, I am the storm. You beat your chest up and you let the you let the world know I am the storm and you will not defeat me. You will not defeat who I'm destined to be. You will not defeat the promises that are given to me. Because there's promises that are given to you. But the thing about it is that you have to play your part. That's the reality. You have to play your part, play your part, play your role. And the thing about it is that you're a team. You're in a team, you're in a family. This is the reason that you're here is to play family, okay? Play team. A lot of people say there's no I in team. That's the truth. There's no I in team, okay? And you can see it, but you need to start getting your voice heard. Put it on your profile that you're part of Gobi Trade House, that you are a Forex trader, okay? You need to resemble who you are. You need to start adorning your, your body. It's like an empty house. An empty house is empty until you fill it up with good stuff that adorn the house. So right now, for the people that just got in, hey, you're in the house. It's an empty house. How do you adorn it properly? How do you adorn it? Adorn the property the way that you would like to adorn your future, okay? So with that being said, I don't want to run on, but just remember, get away from the possums. Get away from the possums. They're just there to steal your dreams, to be a toxic to your environment, and just get away from the possums, okay? With that being said, thank you for your time, and uh, I'll see y'all later on. Kenny, go ahead. Floor is yours. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, about to have me get up, start running around, man. You came fired up this morning. Everybody, give me some seven, seven, sevens in the chat for Carlos bringing the energy. Fired it up, guys. Fired it up this morning. Listen, two quotes, all right? Let your story be your glory, okay? Let your story be your glory, all right? Let your test be your testimony, okay? Exactly what Carlos has been talking about, all right? You're gonna have those, those dream stealers, those dream killers, they're out there, right? But when you're plugged in the right environment, guys, okay, you're gonna continue to not only have accountability partners, okay, but people who are gonna push you to make sure and help you achieve your goal towards financial freedom, all right? And so that's very important. You just gotta stay connected to the fire. We're all on the same page. You're gonna go through ups, you're gonna go through downs, but those tests are not for you. They're for other people. That's what it's for. So when other people come in here or they go on their path, you could say, I've been there. I did have losses on my account, but I was able to overcome that. Now I'm consistent, all right? I wasn't, I wasn't making enough money residual income to cover my rent, to cover my, my bills. But now I built myself up. I've learned, I was attending Mike Taylor's team building meetings and I figured it out, all right? So listen, it's very important. Let your story be your glory. And then one other topic, I could go in on this topic that you spoke about, but I'm not going to go in right now, uh, is the logging in into the back office. You don't understand how many times we have people who uh, email us or to uh, inbox somebody, all right, and say, hey, I'm not making any money or something like that. And I go back and look, and you want to log in your back office one time in 30 days or one time in 60 days? You haven't been on one coffee with Gobi? You haven't been on one live session? No wonder why you're not making any money. You can't not make money if you're not, if you're not on Coffee with Gobi, if you're not on live session, you're not in Gobi Trade House. Okay, you're not in Gobi Trade House if you're not on a live session and if you're not on Coffee in the Morning with Gobi. This is Gobi Trade House. This is our culture. If you're not here, if you're not present, you can't make the money. And I'm going to show you guys uh, here in a little bit, I'm about to pass our brother Matt Lockwood how much money you could have made Okay, if you are, are participating uh, in, in the culture, if you're participating in these trades that are being sent out, and we got to hold our partners more accountable, the new people that come in, okay, make sure they attend, 
because they got started for a reason. And some people just need to be inspired and they need to have that accountability partner to tune in because we see who tunes in every single day. All right, we pull, we can see it back there. We can pull the card. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and pass it to uh, uh, my brother, uh, um, Matt, Matt Lockwood. Have some nuggets for us this morning. How you feeling, Matt? I'm good this morning. How are y'all doing today? Uh, uh, doing amazing, doing amazing, brother. The floor is yours. A, a couple of things before I get started here. Um, shout out to Carlos, man. After after that, man, we really could just shut this whole copy of the Gobi down because he just, he said it all there. And, you know, that was really inspiring. And it's amazing how every time you know, you, you look and you wonder how these copies are going to go. And they always seem to just segue just perfectly where we all kind of are talking kind of the same thing here. And that's kind of my thing that I was talking, going to talk about today was know our value, know what we have here. And I'm going to get to it kind of a roundabout kind of way because part of the transformation is changing the mind. I'm big on that. I'm big on reading to, to change the mind, mindsets. And, you know, Gobi does provide all the tools necessary, the support necessary to help us work towards our goals. But also another part is changing our mindset. And a lot of times we can have thinking that is for for all intents and purposes toxic to what our goal is and we don't even realize it and I, i'm going to speak from personal experience here uh, i'm still in, in my book about the secrets of the millionaire mind and it, it came along a <clears throat> a section on rich people are willing to promote themselves and their value poor people think negatively about selling and promotion now, I bring this up because, you know, I'm not kind of jokingly with Dave Cardi, who, uh, who I signed up with, uh, you know, at the beginning, I was like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm going to do this trading thing because, you know, I think it can make money and, and everything. And yeah, if I get around to promoting it and you know bringing people on, then yeah, maybe I'll do that. But, you know, that's not really my forte and stuff. But it, it wasn't to him, but it was to someone else that was talking to me, I don't even remember who it was, some, some other opportunity or something, you know, and he talked about, about uh, you know, networking and, and promoting what you're doing and, and everything, you know, and I made the comment to him about, yeah, you know, that's not really my thing, that's not really what I like to do and everything. And so see, just without even realizing it, that's a toxic thing to what I'm trying to do here, to my eventual goal. And that all ties into the value because we have lots and lots and lots of value. There's all kinds of different programs and everything, but think about, <clears throat> think about times when we have been approached with other things where, you know, we were told, oh, you got to go out and promote this to, to build this and everything. And, you know, Think, think about some of our reactions. You know, a lot of people are thrilled. We, we get excited when we're, you know, in a atmosphere. We get excited when, when we're in these copies of Gobies. We get excited when we're in the training with Mike. And in fact, I, I thought about like asking Mike if I could do this on one of his uh, evening trainings, but he does such an awesome job. I didn't want to take any time from him. So <clears throat> resenting promotion is one of the greatest obstacles to, su to success. Because if we have issues with selling and promotion, that means we're, we're broke, usually. You know, because you cannot create a large income in our own business if we're not willing to let other people know what we're doing and what value we present to them. And, you know, there's, there's many reasons why we're turned off by people that promote it. You know, we might have had a bad experience. Uh, someone, you know, approached us hard sell or something, they were bothering us at a bad time in our life. Maybe they just wouldn't shut up. You know, I, I deal with that all the time, you know, being on Telegram and stuff. I must get like about five different scam dudes every week that uh, 
you know, say, hey, invest your 2,000 and we'll turn it into 48,000 in 48 hours and stuff. And, you know, and a lot of times those guys just don't shut up and you have to just go ahead and say, hey, thanks, I'm good, bye, block, <laughs> and stuff. So, you know, that's something that eventually builds up and, you know, starts creating kind of like a pushback against promotion and stuff. Or, you know, we, we might have another experience where we tried to do it and someone flat out rejected us and everything. And that's not necessarily us, but that's a projection of our own fear of failure and stuff. And that's why we, we take a step back from that. Or it could even be something as, as far back as, as parenting, you know, where we were told to, in the real world, uh, you know, it's not polite to toot your own horn. But in the real world, when it comes to business and money, if you don't toot your horn, nobody's going to hear you. And so if you want to be rich, they're willing to extol their virtues and value to anyone who will listen and do business with them as well. And then something that I don't think probably applies to anybody in here, but, you know, some people just think that they're above promoting, you know, oh, I don't need to do that. You know, they'll get in because of my personality and what I'm doing and everything. They're, they're special thing, but <clears throat> that's not, that's not the answer either. We've probably all heard that uh, build a better mousetrap and the world will beat a path to your door. And that's very true, but you got to add five words to that if they know about it. So if we want to be rich, we have to become promoters, not only to us, but our product, our services, our ideas with passion and enthusiasm and everything and put it all together. And all we basically have to do is introduce people to the team and they can see the value here. If they have a, some semblance of wanting to go somewhere in life, they can see the value in the Gobi team. Uh, Robert Kiyosaki, uh, we've all heard about him, you know, rich dad, poor dad and stuff. Every, points out every business, including writing books, depends on selling. Okay. Now what's a what's a key difference here? Okay. Writing books. Okay. He's recognized as a best selling author, not a best writing author. Okay. One pays a whole lot more than the other. You can write all you want, but if it don't sell, we're not making any money. So if we want to promote our value and what we can bring into someone else's life, then we have to be a leader. And that's what Gobi's training us to do. Mike, again, does an awesome job with his trainings in the evenings about self-development and how to market ourselves better and everything. So, you know, to, to kind of wrap it up a little bit here, uh, any leader who can't or won't promote will not be a leader for long. And it doesn't matter what field you're in because leaders earn a heck of a lot more than followers. So the, the critical point that I want to leave you with is this. It's not whether you like to promote or not. It's why you're promoted. It boils down to your beliefs. Do you really believe in your value? Do you really believe in Gobi and the services that they offer? Do you really believe that what you have will be a benefit to whoever you're promoting it to? Because if you don't have that belief, you're not going to promote it. And yes, you're going to grow. You're going to make money and everything, but you're not going to be a leader. So go and be great and promote our value, not only ours, but Gobi's to others with passion and enthusiasm. That's all I got. Absolutely. Thank you for those nuggets, Matt. Thank Powerful. you for those nuggets. Really appreciate that. All right. Getting out of your comfort zone. That's all it's about, guys. Getting out of your comfort zone. All right. Because that's where your success really lies. Sometimes we get way too comfortable. All right. And we don't actually step out and we end up staying stagnant. We stay where we're at. So putting yourself out there, you never know. You never know who's been waiting for this type of opportunity. All right, I, I can only imagine if I've never made one Facebook post about Gobi Trade House. There's a lot of people here right now who contacted me through my Facebook post and are having success because I put myself out there. 
I put myself out there. They got the information. They took over the information and they ran with it. And now they're having success from a Facebook post, from a conversation out and about in the grocery store, Walmart, right? So many people, guys. So um, it's very important you put yourself out there because you don't know who you're going to bless. And then it transcends to their family. Okay. And then you never know who they may talk to. It starts blessing other people. It just keeps on rolling, right? Blessings keep on coming. So put yourself out there. Thank you for those nuggets, Matt. Really appreciate that. Uh, so uh, next up, I want to bring up my brother, uh, Duca. Uh, Duca, how you feeling over there this morning? Bro, I'm so tired, man. I've been... The OMG USD pair, bro, is my favorite pair, man. Like, really, it's really? been whooping my ass, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm up now. I'm good now. I'm winning, bro. I finally got my $400, $500 back, bro. But at the same time, let's go. At the same time, bro, after reading that candlestick book, bro, it is truly a blessing, bro. So if anybody have not read it from front to back, man, please do. Because it's it's almost like religion. You know, you know what I mean? And then I see y'all are like 10 for 10 on the uh, run up the bag challenge. Like, y'all getting ready to go to Miami like that, bro? <laughs> so blessings to you, bro. Um, I don't have much to say this morning, man, but I'm proud of you guys, proud of our master analysts. It seemed like y'all get better and better every week, bro. Every day, every month, man, for us. And, and, and y'all have y'all own life. Y'all have y'all own babies, wives, and things that y'all do. But 10 for 10, bro, that's outstanding, man. And uh, and, and I remember telling you, uh, you say, yeah, bro, since you ain't accept the plane ticket, we're going to give you a month free on your subscription. I'm like, y'all do that when y'all win. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When y'all win me a trade, it's already free. <laughs> you feel me? So I just want y'all to keep up keep up the good work, man. And um, to my Gobi family, man, let's just stay locked in. I hope I see all y'all in Miami. Um, and just be safe, man. That's all I have for us today, man. Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. Thank you for those encouraging words. All right. So, yes, you know, uh, on the way to Miami, we're, we're doing some big things right now, guys. And, again, I'm going to show you guys before the end of the call. And uh, I agree. It, it does seem like that we're all getting better uh, week after week. So I just imagine where we're going to be next year. All right. 30 for 30 is going to be a piece of cake. Right. So <laughs> that's going to be consistent. So everybody just stay tuned in because we're just we're just getting started, guys. We're just getting started. This time next year, where Gobi Trade House is going to be, where our sniper team is going to be, I can only imagine how many other snipers that are future snipers that are on right now that are going to be tremendous contributions to the trade community. There's some people in here right now practicing daily, right now, okay, that hasn't said nothing. You're back here on the coffee call every day. You're back during the live session every day. But there's a gift inside of you. To, to help so many people and it's going to come out at the right time. But the only way it comes out is if you stay locked in and you continue to beat on your crap and that time's going to come and it's just going to increase our trade community to the next level. There's so many other snipers in here right now. I already know. And I know, <clears throat> and some of you guys, I'm saying this right now, what I'm saying is resonating with you. Okay. I know it is. All right. So let me go ahead and uh, pass it to our brother, John Paul. I think John Paul is on this morning. Uh, John Paul, are you back there, brother? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, sir. I hear you loud and clear. How you feeling this morning, brother? Hey, man, any day above ground, I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. I can't complain. If I were to complain, I'd be ungrateful. Yeah, absolutely, brother. Well, the floor is yours. All right. Uh, good afternoon, Gobi family. Um, I hope each and every one of you guys are doing great. You know, like I said, if you guys woke up today, uh, then that enough alone should just sit with you and should be everything that you should be grateful for. Uh, just, just to witness, you know, a new Thursday that you've never seen before, that you've never witnessed before, right? Um, so with that being said, it's a new day, means new opportunity, means new money to be made, new friendships to be made and, you know, new business, you know, partners to be made to bring into Gobi, 
right? So, um, but I kind of just wanted to touch base on, I won't be long, it's very short, plain Jane, pr pretty simple. And that's just the, you know, that's just the way I kind of, I kind of, I, I shape my mentality, right? I try to make things and put things in perspective in the most simplest form as possible to, to make sense for me, right? It's, it's very similar to trading. When I'm marking up these charts, I try to make my charts very simple as can be, not with too much confusion, you know, not too much going on and keep it like a clear day, uh, not cloudy, right? So uh, it's an acronym, right, that I kind of came up with or whatever. Uh, you know, it's called uh, KPCA, right? So, um, you know, with the K standing for uh, knowledge and um, the P standing for patience, right? And um, A standing for attitude, right? KP, uh, KPA, I'm sorry, KPA, patience. So it's going to be knowledge, patience, attitude, right? And that goes, that alone to take you far in life, not just um, along with your trading success, but just life period, right? Um, there's a saying that's well known, you know, knowledge is power, right? So with that being said, you know, um, Carlos, he already touched base on a lot of knowledge nuggets earlier. And with that being said, all the knowledge, you know, can you ask yourself, are you are you have or have you completed all the educational videos that we have in our back offices? Right, we have plenty resources and tools. Uh, we have a big trade community that's there to help. If you feel like you're stuck or you're not making progress, right, you have a mouth. God bless each and every one of us with a mouth, you guys. <laughs> and that's one of the, besides your mind, <laughs> your, your mouth could come after. You know, it comes after, right. So not only do you think about whatever it is that, you know, that's either an obstacle or something that you see yourself achieving, right? But you also have to speak it into existence, right? Or if it's something that you're having troublesome with, any troubles or whatnot, ask for help, you guys. Feel free to ask help, any type of assistance. Um, we're passionate, you know, myself and all the snipers, right? And I see a lot of good activity from other um, Gobi members within, you know, the paid members chat. Uh, also, along with our uh, Telegram um, group chats that, and along with the band app, I see people, I see you guys. Uh, I see a large amount of people proactively helping and assisting one of another. It's great. I love to see that, you guys. And that's how we grow together. That's how we stay together. That's how we elevate together, right? So knowledge is everything, you guys. We have all, all the knowledge, all the success that you need to become a master trader. We have that in our back office, you guys. It's there, right? So for you, any, if you're that person and you know you feel like you're, you're not making progress or you know, you're still having hiccups or whatnot, ask yourself, have I done or have I even, even if it took me a hand, couple of times to go through some of these videos, support resistance, you know, entries, trend lines, um, you know, any type of, you know, pivots, all the golden nuggets that we provide and that we have that's uh, accessible for each and every one of you guys. I, if you can genuinely ask yourself, have I done that? Have I took, have I jot notes down, right? Have I took in the, have I taken the time out my day? I always tell everyone that comes into business with me, all our new investors, all my new investors that are now family, right? You still have to do your part, right? Carlos said accountability earlier, and that was a key nugget. You have to hold yourself to some type of accountability, right? We can't, you know, and it, it's unfortunate, you know, some of us, you know, we can't hold, I can't hold, you know, you can't hold someone's hand the whole entire way, but we can help guide you there, right? You still have to do and hold yourself to some type of accountability and I always encourage and I, um, everyone to at least spend 30 to an hour a day of chart time you guys sometimes i may not be available 
but even within yourself, you guys, go back through um, the educational videos that we have. We have plenty of content and go back and train. And I like going back, go back and see if you can identify, train your eyes, you guys, to look at these charts. If you're that person who really genuinely wants to learn how to trade, right? You're not that person who wants to just copy, paste, and profit. Nothing's wrong with copy, paste, and profit. But if you want to genuinely understand um, how all the snipers during each and every uh, trade session of, you know, when we're talking about what we're seeing, you know, the support, resistance, institutional zones, these trend line supports, balances, and stuff or whatnot, so that you can follow along and that you understand the, the, the X's and O's of what we're seeing with the multiple confluences, so you can follow along and that you can give and prove yourself right, then you have to do and hold yourself to some type of accountability, you guys. And the next one is patience, right? Understand, this is not a get rich overnight chain, right? This is a journey, right? And you, each of us have been blessed to be around like-minded people that, that are passionate to see other people's success, right? When the market to where multiple trillions of dollars is being traded every day, you guys, and you have a whole group, you're surrounded around a group of people, right? That are help building each other to where we take in these same trades for, you know, for example, the run at the bag challenge. We're nine for nine right now. So if you're that person, right? And if you're that person who hasn't been participating, then you can't you can't expect yourself to gain knowledge. And at the same time, you're missing out on money, right? I always tell people, man, hey, I, did you take those trades or were you able to make the session? Some people can, some people, ah, oh, nah, you know, or what have you, you know, we have other stipulations outside, you know, um, with our families, jobs, work or whatnot, but you have to hold yourself to some type of accountability on that, you guys. Um, but, and more so with the patience, you guys, you're on your own time frame. And I like how Vincent, you know, you guys are probably would have heard um, our sniper Vincent, he always says that, you know, you're on your own time frame, right? So understand, right? Practice makes perfect, you guys, right? Now, when you first started trading, for example, for myself, um, when I first go and started going live, right, I was using small pips, you know, I was using 0 0.1s, 0, 0 0.02s, and, you know, 0 0.04s, you know, and going up to 50 cent a pip, and the more and more and more I'm hitting, the more and more I'm proving myself right that I'm actually learning content right i'm being patient i'm not gonna rush and you know and and to get out there and to go big i'm being patient you guys patience equals profits you guys you always hear us say that on each and every trade session patience equals profits so you have to let that nugget stick with you you guys right don't be don't be in a rush just because you see someone else made a couple hundred or a thousand you know, understand that you're on your own time frame. So you have to be patient and keep that discipline of being patient, you guys. And so you're able to build up your account, your trade account to where you can afford to make, uh, to use bigger lot sizes to come out with higher profits, right? And uh, the next one is attitude, right? It's KPA, knowledge, patience, attitude. So your attitude, right? Did you ask yourself, did you wake up today? What's your attitude today? If I was to ask each and every one of you guys on this call right now, if you can type in in the chat box, what is it, what, what was the attitude that you woke up today? I wanna see some uh, answers right now. So just type in in the chat, what was your attitude this morning when you woke up? Okay, bless, okay, nice. Grateful, grateful. There we go. Nice. Nice. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Awesome. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. 
So that's the attitude, you guys, that you have to have discipline to wake up with no matter what goes on in your life. You know, you know, life, it throws at us inevitable things. You know, sometimes it's a lot of things that's outside of our control, right? But still, at the end of the day, as long as I ask myself, am I handling or did I handle things to the best of my ability and in, in, in the most genuine or positive way that I could, then I'm great. No matter if things go my way or not, my attitude is going to determine my elevation. It's, it's going to push me, right? No matter what's going on, it, I, I could be against the odds, right? My attitude is still going to be fearless. My attitude is still going to be limitless. They say the sky's the limit. No, my attitude is I'm limitless. The sky's not the limit for me. So no matter what, I don't care what it is. I have, I'm, I have no limits. No matter what it is, I have no limit to be the best father to, to my two girls. Uh, I'm limitless to be the best husband to my wife. I'm limitless to be the best traitor that I can be, right? And I'm limitless to be the best friend, genuine friend to all my peers, right? So I'm limitless. My attitude is limitless, you guys. And that's on all aspects of my life. So I, I just wanted to, you guys to kind of, you know, I just wanted to resonate that on you guys this morning. Check your attitude every morning. Make sure your attitude is in the right direction, you guys. I promise you it's going to take you far. K-P-A. Knowledge, patience, attitude. That's all I got. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for those nuggets. Let's get a 777 in the chat for our brother JP this morning coming through with those nuggets. Knowledge, patience, attitude. All right. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. And everybody put in the chat, guys, you know, the attitude you're feeling this morning. I saw a lot of great things. Feeling blessed, feeling inspired, feeling motivated. OK, so many great things being said in the chat. That's what it's about, guys. And he spoke about the education, you know, tuning in, participation. I always like to say you don't have to be perfect. You just have to participate. OK, that's what it's about. Participation over a period of time. You get into the education. We have a lot of information back there in our back office. So if you're not on a lunch and learn daily, just by you attending a lunch and learn every single day after this call, you're increasing your knowledge just one step forward. All right. Every live session that you attend, you're increasing your knowledge one step forward. And that compounds over a period of time, right? So I really appreciate those nuggets this morning. Great words of encouragement, JP, all right? And I, I'm gonna show you guys one more thing before we close out. And uh, let me know if you can see my screen. I'm gonna make sure I got the correct one here. Can you guys see my screen here? It should be the compound sheet. Yes, sir. You see it all right, perfect. All right. So I wanna inspire everybody. If you have not started the run up the back challenge and, and you know, you don't have to do a one, one, one in the chat or anything like that. We all know if we're staying disciplined to the run up the back challenge or not. Okay. I'll be the first one to uh, put a one, one, one for myself personally. Okay. On, um, not compounding these first 10 trades. I've taken every single trade, all right? But sometimes what I end up doing personally, this is my battle. Sometimes I see a move on an XRP or a crypto or, a crypto or something else, and I end up taking that trade on my run up the bag challenge account, okay? And I may make some money on that, and I sometimes I withdraw it, or let's say, I, let's say even if I lost that trade, all right, no matter what, I'm taking a trade on the wrong account, okay? I'm pretty sure a lot of us are do that, are victims of that. You can put a one 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 if you want. You don't have to, like I said, because it, it doesn't matter because I do it too sometimes. However, today is the day. I think there's enough data. I think there's enough evidence that we need to stay more disciplined to this. And I will be um, the first person, okay, to make the commitment with the trade community today. If you want to start the run up the bag challenge today at $100, let's go, all right? If I start falling short, 
All right. You guys can check me on it. I'm going to check y'all on it. We're going to we're going to keep each other accountable to make sure we completely stay to this challenge because this is why. All right. You want to stick to this challenge. The challenge works. I've completed this chart on multiple occasions in my in my trade life. OK, even prior to uh, uh, even prior to Gobi. So I know that it works. OK, so but we just have to go ahead and stay disciplined. OK, this is total, totally about discipline which is why we tell people to separate your compound account, okay? So if we would have started on our first 10 trades, right? Right now we're 10 for 10. On a $100 account balance, all right? Everybody would at least be at $343 right now on their $100 account balance. Kenny, one, one small correction. Depend, depending on what your uh, aggression setting is. Uh, yeah, you might have to change that to moderate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we recommend no, moderate. But, okay, I'll go to moderate. But That's if fine. you feel if, if anybody feeling froggy, of course you can change your aggression setting to <laughs> whatever you like. Because 10 pips is 10 pips. All right. So I'll just change it to moderate. On 10 trades on moderate is $311. All right. So essentially what a, a $23 difference. Okay. This is moderate. And so let's see what. Uh, conservative looks like conservative two hundred and seventy five dollars. Okay, and if you want to go super conservative, you would have grown your account to two hundred and three dollars. All right, so no matter what, you've grown your account over a hundred percent. But I'm not going to go super conservative. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to moderate here. We're not going to do aggressive. All right, we're going to stay away from aggressive because aggressive is gonna bring out that greed. And that's what we need to stay away from, okay? So on a moderate, on a moderate compound, we're looking at a 211% account growth. A 211% account growth, this is where we should be at right now. Now, what we don't wanna do is allow the snipers to continue to get hot and rerun off 10 more trades and your account could potentially be at $1,607 on trade 20, all right? Okay, so guys, listen, give me a 111 in the chat, guys, if you're ready to truly compound these next 20 trades. Give me a 111 in the chat. Some people, I'm sure you're already doing it, all right? I wanna see all my snipers give, give me the 111 first, right, because we're, we're gonna do it. <laughs> We're gonna do it, all right? Okay, so if you're truly ready to do this, this is what it's gonna look like. So on the next 20 trades, okay, on trade number 20, I'm sure that a lot of us won't have a problem on the next 20 trades growing $100, okay, to $1,607, all right, closing out the month and also going to Miami with that extra bag. All right, now these are the next 20 trades in April. Okay, these are the next 20 trades in April. And I did a little back testing, but I don't know if we realized because before we closed out March, we were also on a hot streak of about, I think seven wins in a row. It's something like that. It's about seven wins in a row before we closed out last month. So we're really like, like 17 for 18 right now or something like that. So when you really think about it, there's a lot of opportunity right now to really compound on a high level, okay? So I want everybody, okay, if you have the funds readily available, uh, me personally, I'm gonna start a fresh account today at $100 and we can start all doing this together. And this is the this was the initial goal of the run up the bag challenge anyway. Uh, I think some of us may have started to uh, just take the trades as trade alerts and, and take them in different ways. But we're going to stay more disciplined on the run to the back challenge because this is too big, guys. This is too big. All right. We're talking about the potential to run up $100 to almost over $9,000, okay, every month. And again, uh, we keep getting better. We're in a hot streak right now. Let's take advantage of the moment. Okay. Let's take advantage of the moment. So also, I just kind of want to play with the numbers just a little bit. Let's just say you finish off a month and how many people will feel okay with dropping a thousand dollars in their account if we completed the run of the bag challenge and we cleared the month 
you know, 30 for 30, 28 for 30 or something like that. Give me a one, one, one in the chat. If you wouldn't mind dropping a thousand dollars in your account uh, after the month, you just take it out your profit. Okay. And you wouldn't mind dropping a thousand dollars in your account. I want to show you what that looks like, right? So if you have a thousand dollars in your account, just what we did this month alone, which is 10, 10 for 10, no losses, right? On a moderate setting. Okay, you would have taken your one thousand dollars to two thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, you essentially would have grown your account almost two hundred percent. All right, that's on what we've already done already. This is on ten pips per trade. Okay, so this is what this is what we could look like next month, guys. If we run off again, if we continue to stay hot, okay, you you could potentially be sitting on. Uh, over $89,000 by next month, okay, on the brand new challenge. This is why it's important that we do this. And this is if we go 30 for 30, this is hypothetical, but I believe it's possible, okay? I believe that we can go 30 for 30, okay? But again, even if we don't go 30 for 30, okay, we haven't had a month where we have not been under 80%, okay? If you look at our numbers, our first month, we went 90%. Second month, we went 85%. Third month, we went 80%. And this month, we're 100% so far. So even if we won 25 trades, okay, depending on how uh, our, stop loss, our stop losses, and we're, we're um, using more uh, um, conservative stop losses, all right, so the losses won't be so big. We've been working on that. That's why you guys are seeing that our stop losses are a little shorter, all right? So depending on the settings, even if we won 25 trades, guys, you're still sitting on over 30 bands, $30,000. How many people will be fine sitting on over $30,000 next month by participating in the run-up the back challenge? Let's get a 777 in the chat, okay? Even if, we, even if it wasn't perfect, that's why you say that we do not have to be perfect, we just have to participate. So by a group participation, this is group economics, right? And Gobi Trade House, we preach, we teach group economics. Let's take this moment and let's practice group economics starting today. All right. If anybody does not have your hundred dollars readily available, and I'm gonna stop here at a thousand because y'all don't want to see me go up to five thousand or, or or something like that here. Y'all don't want to see that. It starts getting crazy. Okay. <laughs> Gonna run the bag up, man. Oh, y'all want to see it? All right. It's about well, 486k per month. Let's look at it. Let's go to 5,000. Let's, let's go, go to 5,000. On just what we did this month, if we went 10 for 10, okay, you would have taken $5,000 to $14,742 Well, what we already did this month, guys. That's freedom right there. What you're seeing in front of you right now is your freedom ticket. This compounding plan is your freedom ticket off your nine to five. This compounding plan is your freedom ticket to live debt free, to pay off your mortgage, to retire your mother, to travel where you wanna go anytime you wanna go, all right? This compounding plan and staying disciplined to it is your freedom ticket, okay? So who's ready to be free? Who's ready to be free, right? Who's ready to live that lifestyle, okay? Okay, when you run up the bag on 30 trades, you almost make, you make over $448,000 on 30 trades, starting with $5,000, guys. On the same thing we're doing with the run up the bag challenge, 10 pips a piece, just 10 pips, the power of the run up the bag challenge. And let's just say we lost five trades. Who wouldn't mind taking $5,000 to $182,000? We have not had a month where we have lost, we have been under 80%. The data is there. Go look in the Run Up the Back Challenge chat, okay? And look at what we just posted. Don't let anybody tell you we're not making money in Gobi Trade House. Show them the statistics, okay? We're winning at a high clip. So, I'm going to stop at 5,000 because y'all don't want to see 10,000. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to stop. There. <laughs> Let me drop it back down to 100. Okay. Hey, man, you might as well go ahead and show it, bro. <laughs>
All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? Right, we're fired up this morning. Let's go to ten thousand. All right, let's go to ten thousand because <laughs> this is one month of the run up the bag challenge. We're gonna have ten thousand dollars, right? This is gonna be our life in Gobi Trade House in these next several months if you stay disciplined. If you start off with ten thousand dollars in your trade account on what we already did this month on ten thousand dollars, ten for ten is $29,466. And $19,000 $19, you would have made in less than two weeks. You're free. Quit that job. You continue, guys, on a 30 for 30, starting with 10 grand in Gobi Trade House with the Run Up the Bag Challenge. You're over $896,000, okay? You are damn near a millionaire, okay? <laughs> okay? So listen, guys, this is going to be our lifestyle. This is what we're going to do over here. I can't speak about what they're going to do over there. I'm just telling you what the goal is over here. Okay. And we have the capability of doing it. But let's just say you lost five trades on a $10,000 account. I'm sure you wouldn't be mad sitting over, sitting on $363,000. And again, the data shows you we do this every month. This is 85% right here. This is what we do in Gobi Trade House. We just got to stay disciplined, okay? So with that being said, give me a 777 in the chat, guys, if you want to start the run off the bag challenge with us today and do it right and stay disciplined, okay? Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? I'm ready, okay? We're going to do this. We're going to do this as a trade community. We're gonna to continue to practice group economics, right? And we're truly gonna do what we say in Gobi Trade House, the generation of bosses of empire to create generational wealth, okay? And that's what we're here for, okay? So um, so I'm gonna go ahead and close out, guys. Um, I do see someone in the chat saying you want to say something. Who, uh, Corey, if you wanna say something, you can unmute yourself. I, I don't mind, brother, I don't mind. Yay. This is what I wanted to say. Um, when I started this Gobi journey with a hundred dollars, I was making money, making money, you know, 75 bucks, you know, and it gradually started off to a hundred. I talked to Joe and I took fourteen hundred dollars and started this account. Every trade that you hit is in the hundreds. No more, no more than fifty dollars, no more than every trade that they hit. Is in the hundreds. You start seeing money when you start playing with the real money. When you when you you get a thousand dollar account, you'll see a huge difference between you know them the, the hip count and all of that. You'll see a huge difference. It's crazy. So the best to compound your money, save your money. When you feel like you you can spy over a thousand dollars, that's when you're really gonna start seeing it. And that's all I wanted to say. Absolutely. And that's why I always say this, guys, start a dream account. Start a dream account. For those who have a $100 account, set up a $10,000 or $5,000 demo. And when you take a run up the bag challenge trade, copy and paste it in your $100 account, then take that exact same trade, copy and paste it in your demo account. Watch, you have, watch how you make $20 on one and $2,000 on the other. So you can see the vision and where you're going. It's the same trade. It's the same activity. A copy and paste is just the capital is different because you have a larger account balance and your ROI is larger. That's all, guys. The trades are here. The community's here. Okay? So let's get it. And thank you for those words, Corey. Uh, Joe Threats, we got a lunch and learn today, brother? Yes, sir, we do. And just to piggyback off of that, um, I do have a lunch and learn on the compound strategy about uh, how how powerful collecting those 10 pills. Just how you finish off the call today, I have a whole lunch and learn on uh, compounding and the, the the basics of getting 10 pips per trade. Um, so we do have a lunch and learn. We'll take a five or six minute intermission um, and get right back to it. But overall, this is your freedom account. Uh, D joke with me all the time about uh, me knowing what the lot size, what the, uh, like what the percentage are based off of account size. I know about hard because I know what my plan is. And so um, I've been playing with the numbers as Corey mentioned. Once you have an account of a thousand bucks or so, 
standardized only. That's the goal um, to better trade. Standardized meaning a temp, at least a minimum of ten dollars per pip. You get ten pips uh, per trade. That's a hundred. That's a hundred bucks right there um, on on a ten pip move. So just get that in your head and go from there. All right. So we'll just take a five minute intermission. Go grab a snack, and we'll be right back into it. And today's topic will be on um, trailing and stop loss, as I mentioned earlier. So let's get to it. All right, let's get to it. So everybody who wants to stay on, uh, I'm going to stop the recording, give Jordan host power, and give everybody a five-minute intermission, and we will be back for the Lunch and Learn. All right. So other than that, guys, this was an exciting uh, Coffee with Gobi. We'll see you guys tonight on the Asian session where we'll be continuing to run up the bag challenge and start those two accounts. Start your $100 account, start your $10,000 dream account, and let's go ahead and accomplish our goals of financial freedom and generational wealth. Peace, everybody. Have a great day. Go be great. Hey, one more thing. One more thing. We got Power Hour tonight at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. You don't want to miss that. Carlos Pond puts a lot of hard work into those, so let's give him the support that he truly deserves and make sure that we're on there. Absolutely. Everybody try to invite one person. It's worth it, right? We got to at least uh, spread this message to at least one person around you in your warm market, all right? And that so that blessing is going to keep on coming. It comes right back around to you. Trust me. Trust me. That's exactly how it works, all right? So peace, everybody. Everybody have a great day. Go be great. Uh, I'm stopping the recording now. And Jordan, make you host. Everybody have a great day.